Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, just got myself a B Store 1100. This bike has been sitting for, I think it's out for like seven, seven years, six, seven years. Um, I got it from a friend of mine. So it only has like 5,600 miles on it. Those are the original miles. This thing is in pristine condition, but it's sat for so long that, you know, I have to go through a major tune-up. Um, so I'm gonna have to check the balls and um, replace the spark plugs. I just got a new battery and I got it to run, but it's, it's running kind of, um, the title in kind of rough. So that means the carburetor, since it was sitting for a long time, I actually sprayed some uh, carburetor cleaner in it uh, earlier. I removed this one and I, you know, I was able to pull the the, the, the needles, um, the turtle needle, so I can, I can get it to run, but it seems like I'm gonna have to take it apart. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this video just to show you guys how to uh, remove pretty much the intake, the air, air filters, the tank. I have to remove the seats. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna um, pretty much take it all apart. I'm gonna have to remove this hose right here. Uh, this one was cracked, so I, I end up replacing this. So I'm gonna have to shut it off, shut off the gas, and then remove this. I already removed the little plastic cover that goes right here, so I could adjust the um, the uh, carburetor a little bit and. Uh, so I can just at least get it to run. I wanted to test it. Um, so hopefully by removing the carburetor and um, pretty much put a new uh, jets or uh, O-rings and cleaning it up, hopefully that's gonna help me to get it to run better. The only problem is like I don't have the, I think it's called the synchronizer or synchronization tool uh, for the carburetor. So it's kind of, almost impossible for what I'm hearing to kind of do it by ear. So you need that special tool because he has dual carburetors. Um, you need to get that tool to kind of synchronize both of them to make it run or idle at the same time. But I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot and see what happens. Um, so right now it starts, but he does it pretty rough. One. It's not a there you go, neutral. There you go. I mean, it sounds okay, but definitely when I use the throttle, it just shuts off. So that's the main issue. All right, let's take it apart and see what happens. Okay, I already removed the seats. Um, just to see how are we gonna um, remove the the fuel tank um, to remove the seats is the 10 millimeter on the back just take it off pull it out and then this bracket right here holds the other seat in place I put it back I usually um, like to put my stuff back in so I don't lose <laughs> bolts or anything I know exactly where to um, where they go after I put everything back together so it seems like we have a 12 millimeter uh, 12 millimeter nuts right here. We're gonna have to undo this. Uh, here's where the um, the filter, the fuel filter is. I already un uh, already uh, shut off the gas and removed the actual hose. So it seems like these are the only things that are holding it back or are holding this down. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm gonna take them off. Let's see, let's let's remove this. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Okay, so this is the uh, wiring harness that gives the uh, the speedometer and all that stuff, all the lights. So I'm gonna have to unplug it. Once we unplug this, undo the, um, remove this uh, 12 millimeter uh, nuts. Then we should be able to lift it up and wiggle it just to pull it out. That's kind of what I read. Uh, Cause it's only uh, the plastic grommets right here that are holding it. 
So really there is nothing else uh, that we have to do other than removing the hoses and the um, harness, the winding harness and these two. All right, so I'll undo those and then I'll pull the, uh, the fuel, t the uh, gas tank out, okay? sorry um, as you can see I struggled to get the, the gas tank out it was like really stuck against those grommets so I guess you have to you know maintain that or oil them I don't know you gotta do something because like it was like really stuck in there so um, okay so it's finally out so the next thing will be to get the the air housing uh, or the, yeah, I guess that's the, this is the uh, air filter. So we need to remove this. That's the bracket that holds the, the air filter in place. It only has this um, Allen hex, um, you know, bolts or screws. And uh, I think they're number seven. So I'm gonna use this long um, Allen wrench to get them out. So I'm gonna have to get these two these two and Phillips uh, screw just to um, get it loose to pull this out there is no there is no bolts on this side I think it's just the grommet right there it's just a plastic piece that holds it in place and then we're gonna have to get this out this Phillips head and I think that's pretty much it Oh, you know what? This. Oops, sorry. Well, I moved it. Uh, the hose where the, you know, for the fuel. Let me just move it out of the way. Okay. So this too. This Phillip head uh, screw. Get it loose. Um, and then this one and the other side as well. And then we should be able to pull these out uh, easily. And then we'll see what's next. All right, guys, I got the air housing out, just pulled it out. And I just got the, this bolts, the uh, Phillip head uh, bolts um, loose for both of them. These are the actual boots that connects the housing. So I'm gonna get them out. There you go. All right, All right so this one's number two so this one is number one so I'm gonna get them out and um, then we're gonna have to get this loose unplug the harness this is the TPS sensor the total position sensor I guess and then we have to get it loose um, I mean this loose and then unplug it from here and then remove this one and um, we're gonna have to remove the throttle cables and we should be able to kind of gently rotate the carburetors a little bit to get it out of there and out of here and that should let us pull it out oh we have to um, Get this loose. This is a choke uh, cable. So you can see, pulls, there you go. So we just need to get this loose to get this out of the way and then be able to remove that from there. Same thing with the throttle cables right here. And that should do it. All right, let's get this removed. Okay. Okay, oh shoot. 
All right, there's some guys in there. Out of the way. All right. This one is how this works. Alright, let's move it out of the way. Alright. Now let's get the turtle cable out. The choke, sorry, that's a choke. Let's get all this three out of the way. Alright, so now I'm gonna have to put the phone down. This is gonna be really hard to do it with only one hand, but I mean, the idea is like everything is from plug right now. Should be able to rotate this. Gently shake it out and then just get them out, okay? I'll show you when I'm done. All right guys, carburetor is out. So as you can see, these are the two carburetors that are, you know, pretty much working together. Um, this is, the side where this is the left side where the throttle um, cables and this is the other side with the throttle position sensor um, I'm gonna just open it up right now I'm gonna have to drain whatever gas is in it before we start and then I bought this kit off of eBay and I'll put the link in the description below um, I think I paid like you know 15 20 bucks for it it might not have all the the o-rings or um jets or you know whatever we need to rebuild this thing completely but we'll we'll get the best out of it you know we'll use you know the parts that we need and uh let me let me drain this gas and i'm gonna start working in one and i'll show you guys all right i already got the gas out as you can see it's pretty dirty so it was probably old gas sitting on the tank so I'm gonna have to flush that one as well. So, all right, I'm gonna start by flipping this. Let's get this bolts out. It's four bolts. One. Sorry, guys, I have it. Come on, right in front of me, so it's kind of hard, but. This one's really stuck, so I'm gonna have to play with it. Ah, this one too. Wow. Screws are really messed up. Spold, sorry. All right, I'm gonna have to get them loose and be right back. All right, sorry. Sorry, I got them out. So you can see, they were pretty messed up. They're pretty tight though, but yeah, the bolts are like not good. So I'm gonna have to replace them with the ones that come with the kit. So 
Now I'm gonna slowly, want to start shaking this a little bit. There you go. All right. All right. The gasket uh, is pretty messed up. All right, it's pretty dirty. We're gonna try to clean it up and replace it with this one. If that one is bad, although I think this one is a little bit thinner, so it might not fit. So we're gonna have to probably reuse this one, but we're definitely gonna have to clean it up. All right, let's put this on the side. I always like to put a rag or something underneath so in case something falls off, I can, you know, um, find it, you know, it won't, it won't bounce all over the place, so. Okay, so here we have the main jet. You see, this one is pretty messed up. Like the rovers, the O-rings are like, you know, completely gone, as you can see right there. Yeah, see, it's falling apart. This thing is pretty bad. All right, I'm gonna have to get this out, replace it, and let's see. Thing is, see, it was so easy. The gasket is so messed up that the the jet just came right off. Okay, it looks pretty bad. I'm gonna have to order new jets because I mean this thing is, is is bad. See this this is just falling apart. And then and then this one is the o-ring that goes in between the actual needle and the jet. So this is the main jet. So I mean it's not plugged up, but you can see there you go. Now you can see through. So yeah, somebody cleaned it up, but obviously they didn't replace none of this. So it's gonna be, um, you know, probably gonna have to pause this video. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough parts to replace all this, but at least we're gonna keep going with the rest and, and see what happens. Okay, let's see, let's put this on the side for now. Um, Get this out. Open it. All right, I like to separate this, and these are gonna be for the carburetor ball. I'm okay, gonna just put them on the side. Okay. Okay. Sorry guys. And this are gonna be for the top, which we might not even use. Cause I don't think the other ones are bad. So here's the main thing. I just wanna see if any of these jets might work. So this one I'm pretty sure is this one right here. So we'll see once we get them out. Okay. So it seems like we don't have that many stuff to work with. I mean, this kit is obviously not a full kit. So we have some O-rings, a few screws. Here's the main yet, but no, this is this one right here. Here's the other jet or not. Let's see. Oh, it is the main yet, but uh, yeah. We might replace it. Sorry, there you go. Now it's in camera right there. So this is a new yet. This is the old one. But it's a 1.25, I think that's what it says. 115. This is something like that. I cannot even see that far. Anyway, so this one doesn't even have a number in it. Yep, it doesn't have anything. So I might not even use this one. I don't want to mess it up. 
but anyways. All right, uh, there you go. Now this is all that comes with the kit, so. All right, I'm gonna have to see what I can do with the rest, you know. This one, I'm just gonna take it out and see if it just is clogged or not. Okay, careful, because this one has a little metal washer right there, or copper washer right there. So don't lose it. All right, so this one is fine. I can see through. I can definitely see through this one. So you may not, there you go. Yep. All right, so we're gonna probably just take it apart right now and clean it and replace some of the O-rings. That's, that's all we can do. Okay, this one's kind of tight. Okay, so this one looks good. Let's see, nope, this one definitely is not good. This one I cannot see through it at all. So this one is just plugged up, so there you go. This one is bad. Yep, I tried to blow uh, through it and it doesn't work, but it comes with this one. This one is clean, it's brand new. So we might replace this one. All right, we might be able to use this one, but see this one has not, I think it's just one piece. Yeah, let's see. Yep, it is one piece and I just noticed the holes on this one are a little bit bigger than those, but sorry guys, it's hard to work with the camera in front of you so I'm, and describe what I'm looking at, but there you go. So all right, the holes are definitely bigger than the original one, so uh, I'll replace it anyways, but we'll see. Okay. So this one, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna replace it right now. Okay. Just tie it up. There you go. Don't tie it too hard. And then, um, this is a float. Uh, little pontoon thingy. My jiggy. Let's see, what do I need? Uh, I need a Phillips head screwdriver to get this out. Okay. Get this out. And then there you go. All right, the needle is good. Seems like somebody cleaned it. But if I have new ones, I'm gonna go with a new one. What the heck? Oh, okay. I'm gonna put the new one in, but let's check this. So as you can see right here, this seems like somebody tried to clean it up, but still, it's pretty dirty. So let's get let's get it replaced. If it's like this one right here, I think it should be that one. Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to need to remove this. There you go. All right. And let's try to get it out. Oh, it's pretty stuck. Seems like we're not gonna be able to do much with this kit that I ordered, unfortunately. We're definitely gonna have to, there you go. There's a whole unit. Oh, look at this. See how dirty that thing is? It's like a little filter. Man. All right. The good thing that that one comes with the kit, so I'm gonna have to clean this up because it's pretty dirty, so I have some uh, carburetor cleaner 
I'm gonna spray it down and then put the new one in and just go with that for now. All right, it seems like this is the one. So I'm gonna be able to fit it right there, yep. There you go. That's the old one, that's the new one. Seems like that's the same thing. Okay. So I guess this one has the little O-ring that goes right there. And this filter. Okay. All right. Okay, seems like that's it. So we can clean it up. Okay. A little bit of a carburetor cleaner. Then we drop this thing right there. Right. Okay. It just sits right there. Good. Now we we'll put the screw back on with this bolt right back on. This is just to hold it in place. All right. There you go. Now we can. Um, This one goes here. Yep. Okay. Nope. That's not this one. Then this is the main yet. See. It looks the same though. All right. Scene. Yep, there you go. I was missing the little um, o ring or the, the copper ring that was around here. So now it does fit right there. So that's tight. Okay. All right, guys. Um, now we can probably check this one right here which is how much gas it gets into the carburetor um, well, let's fix the um, with me or the, the tools that I needed so okay so let's uh, count how many turns in for this thing so this is this is the uh, needle or the the uh, oh my god I'm, I'm losing it right now guys um, this is the air and gasoline mix um, so let me let me just see so it's going half turn one turn, one and a half, two, two and a half. It's going two and a half. I think that's the right set. So I'm gonna take it all out and just inspect it and see if it's good. But right now it's at two and two and a half, so. All right, so let's see. Oops, see, that's what I'm talking about, guys. So I just 
drop this and it just dropped a little o-ring and a metal uh, washer. So, turn it off. Okay. So here's what I dropped, okay? So this one goes like right here. And then I guess is the O-ring and the metal spacer. No, backwards. The metal spacer and the O-ring. There you go. So that's how it goes. And uh, since we have them right here, We have the new ones. We can probably go with that. Okay, so this one has a little spring. Here's the little flat washer and the O ring. So, there you go. Put it back on, and I'm gonna start start turning this all the way to the bottom, and then work backwards. All right. Hope you guys can see it, but no, I don't think you can. But anyway, so that's there you go. This half turn, one turn, one and a half, two. Two and a half. That's how we had it before. So that should uh, do the trick right now. All right, so now let's put the uh, loader right here. So here's the old needle. I'm gonna put it on this side. And let's get a new one. Okay. It doesn't matter which order you put it on. As long as you put it back on, and it goes right here. There you go. It sits right there. Wait, wait uh, what's going on? It should be sitting right there. What's going on with this thing? Okay, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna have to turn this thing a little bit so it goes all the way in. All right, this thing is not sitting correctly. It's like if this needle was a little bit long, a little bit longer, or what? Yeah, see, it's sticking out a little bit. Let's see. Here's a new one. Here's the old one. They look same size to me. Right, let's put this one in. Okay, so yeah, it goes a little bit deeper. So yeah, now this one is not sitting all the way. All right, so I'm gonna stick with the original one since it's still good. All right, I guess this, this uh, kit is not that complete though. All right, so now let's see this thing right here the bolt back in there okay so now to make sure that your um to make sure that the float is level which as you can see it's not it has to be flat against this so i mean it gets it has to be level against your your um your base 
So it seems like we're gonna have to pull this one up a little bit. There you go. Uh, and I think he went too much. So now let's push it back a little bit more. All right, almost there. We're almost there, guys. All right, looks about right. See, this is in line with that right there. Okay. All right, since I'm not gonna be able to do much with the jet, the main jet, which is gonna have to put this one back in and put the jet back in and call it a day, I mean, uh, I'm gonna have to order new jets, but once I'm done, I'm gonna continue with the video and you know show you guys another time how to you know uh, put it together and go from there. Unfortunately, all right, guys, thank you. All right, guys, sorry. Um, what I was able to do, I was able to get the jet out, and then I was able to use one of these o-rings it was kind of hard to feed i had to really pull it hard and just able to replace the old one that was like pretty busted and I had the same thing with the other side so they're both sealed right now i'm just gonna leave it as is i'm gonna have to order another kit you know the whole jet you know with the o-rings um just to you know get it working the right way you know I don't like doing this, but unfortunately I have to work with, with what I have. So I'm just gonna put this back on and just call it a day and go from there. All right, so there you go. Now it's back in, we're good. Um, just gonna do the same thing on the other side, just uh, replace some of the jets that came with the kit and just leave the other ones as is. And that's it. Just, just hopefully that that's gonna, you know, make it work at least better than what it was. So, unfortunately, that's all I can do at this point. All right. Well, that's it. So once I am um, done with the other side, um, and I put it together, I'll show you guys. Um, you know, how do we? put everything back uh, with the bike, you know, we start mounting everything again. And that's it. All right. Thank you.